Introducing the all new Corolla. Lawmakers spent a good portion of session today discussing Senator Frank Ogan Jr.'s Infant Right to Life Act, or Bill 195. The legislation would require that an aborted child that is found to be alive must be preserved, and every effort must be made to protect its life. Essentially, it would require that health care providers give the child proper life-saving or life-sustaining medical treatment. Senator Mike Nicholas spoke in favor of the measure. And clear of conscience. And that is that we must, in all circumstances, save babies. And this bill, which was bravely introduced by the author, Senator Frank Uggen, is a bill to do just that. Senator Roy Respicio offered an amendment that would have provided a new section of the bill that is consistent with federal law. So I'm offering a, a definition of um, person which is consistent with what the United States uh, Congress passed and we're adding it into words and terms defined in uh, subsection uh, 715 of uh, 1 GCA. And the definition of um, person, human being, child, and individual as including born alive infant. This amendment would have defined an infant that survives an abortion as a person, human being, child, or infant and would give them the same rights as any other individual, regardless of their stage of development. To me, a life is a life. That's where I, I look at this particular legislation. A life is a life. If an infant comes out alive, that is a human being. That is life. However, Senator Uggen and others objected to this particular amendment, and the amendment ultimately failed. Senator Ben Pangolinan said that this bill does not reinforce the federal law, but he believes it instead goes beyond it, and he's concerned it does not reflect all of the protections afforded to women in the federal statute. I'll gladly vote for the provision for live birth, as defined in the federal statute, that respects that personal domain for the decisions that go be that take that personal domain and injects government into it by provisions of Bill 195. Bill 195 was ultimately moved to the third reading file. Meanwhile, yesterday, another abortion bill was also sent to the third reading file, namely Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr.'s abortion bill, or Bill 193. The bill was amended, however, to remove the AAA process requirement. However, the bill would still require some level of approval for the informational pamphlets that are required to be given to women who are considering abortion. Instead of just the director himself approving the um, materials, it would have to go through a team. And that team includes a medical director of public health, the director of course, um, a psychiatrist, and a doctor, an OB from the Guam Medical Association, also a um, social worker.